Yeah, so what will happen is uh, the VFOX token holders will receive a um, percentage of all transaction volume and that will be on a communicated date. So they will have to hold, uh, so effectively it's, um, think of it like a snapshot, but it's actually a, uh, a lock mechanism. What will happen is you will receive that based on the, um, uh, the share that you have at a certain date and time. Yeah, so we're looking at um, accepting multiple forms of payment. Uh, so we're talking to fiat providers now. So for uh, Visa seems a lot easier than MasterCard, but we're looking at other fiat um, on-ramps and uh, payment methods, as well as also a number of different cryptocurrencies. So we'll work with um, the different um, currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we're talking to a few different um, on-ramps and payment providers. But the great news for RFOX holders is it will course through RFOX before any transaction is settled unbeknownst to the end user. So if I come along and pay with a credit card, spend $100, that'll go through RFOX before it's settled and the end user doesn't even um, realize that this is happening. So every transaction both in and out goes through RFOX. But our ultimate goal from the beginning has always been, we want the end user to not even know that they're interacting with blockchain. Yeah, it'd be purely speculation and thumb suck, but ultimately speaking, we've got to take into consideration that all sale of shops, rent for shops, transactions, events, everything. And some of those things will not be just um, 1%. We might have a, um, a bonus or there could be particular events that you hire. So uh, we're excited to roll out some of these types of announcements as well. Um, but ultimately, we're also looking on how we can reward further the people that hold VFOX and RFOX token within the space through some of our partners and suppliers. But ultimately speaking, um, you know, it depends on what the blocks of land sell for as far as the shops are concerned. And then when we roll that out to Philippines, Vietnam, Indonesia, they're massive markets. We roll this out on a number of, in a number of different countries and we're not bound by any specific region. Uh, our focus is Southeast Asia, but that's not to say that it won't go uh, wider. You will also get a percentage of every transaction in every single country that we roll out in for all of the shop sales, for all of the rent, for all of the transactions. So it's going to run very, very deep. I think that whatever it starts off at, we'll just keep uh, exponentially growing and growing and growing. Yeah, we're looking at doing it once every quarter. So you've got plenty of time to know exactly when it's coming and how it will work is in retrospect. So for example, we've said that the yield um, finishes after five months for the VFOX pool so that everybody's got VFOX in their hands. So what will actually happen is we will know exactly how much people are entitled to at that particular point in time. And then what we'll know is what, when the next three months is up, we'll know already uh, ahead of time what you're going to get uh, as, a, as a reward for that particular quarter as well. So we're paying those quarters retrospectively. Okay, that's a great question. So the original, so we're gonna have 120 um, shop spaces, right? Uh, we've got um, we've got open areas and like um, uh, centres, town centres and all the rest of it. We can't wait to show you. It's actually mind blowing. It's very, very hard to keep a lid on our excitement for this. It's um, much better than anything we've seen out there. But ultimately that won't extend for the main world. So how it works is eight of those uh, shops will be reserved for marquee clients and to be fully transparent, we're going to be giving those away. But these guys have to really prove that they can bring in big uh, crowds marketing prowess and all the rest of it. Um, 12 of them are kept for um, RFOX, so we'll use those to either rent out, offer initiatives to, um, to promising projects and allow them to be able to house their project um, in, the, in the 12 spaces and we'll explain how that will work. And it will also um, serve for us as, as RFOX uh, headquarters and, um, and showcase our ventures. And then the 100 that's available to the public won't increase at the main level. Um, it's not going to increase. Now at the country level, individual country levels, that may have to increase slightly depending if you've got a country like Indonesia, massive population and effectively the cities are like isolated, like countries, um, they're so diversified from each other that there could be um, the opportunity to go a little bit wider for some of the country level rollouts, but not at the top level. It will be forever at 120 spaces.